introduce, we're really pleased to have uh, Smitty, Kathy, some of you may know, know her as Kathy, but we, she goes by Smitty Connolly, Jerry Connolly's wife. Uh, they have been residents here in Fairfax since 1979, real pillars and leaders in this community. We're all rooting for Jerry, um, congressional candidate in Fairfax, and uh, I'm so happy that you could come here today, Kathy. Thank you, Joni. You know, I was, when I was on my way over to the picnic, I believe in carrying the heaviest possible purse so that when it hits the ground, it just makes a big thing. I was thinking about a couple of things, one of which was family values. And I was thinking, we all know the party of family values, right? That's Republicans, aren't they? No. Well, it's not. So we're the party of family values, and that could be maybe because we believe in universal health care? Yeah. Could it be that we're the party of family values because we believe in a good education for all of our children? Yeah. Could it be that we're the party of family values because we believe that women and men have the right to take care of their parents or their children when they're sick and not be penalized at work for it? Yeah. Is that why we're the party of family values? Could it be that we're the party of family values because we believe in equal pay for equal work? Yes. <laughs> you know, I think I just read somewhere that that's what Barack Obama believes too. <laughs> Hooray. I wanted to speak a little bit, thinking about family values and thinking about how elections are won and lost. I am old enough that I remember, oh my God, you wouldn't believe, 1980, the Republicans put up a movie actor for president. Who would ever take that seriously? Well, the Democrats actually believed about this time that we were gonna win because nobody would ever vote for a movie actor for president. And we were wrong. And I think it's important we remember that. It's important we remember that even though we may see the light, everyone doesn't see it the same way we do. It's important that we encourage each other's participation. Talking about um, a few minutes ago about the things you can do to volunteer, there are other things you can do to make it safe for your neighbors to vote with you. One of those things is put a yard sign on your lawn, put a bumper sticker on your car, organize, a, invite people over who are interested in just being with like people. In my neighborhood in Mantua, we have Mantua Democrats. Once a year, just once a year, somebody hosts an event, invites everybody who's running for office, they come on over, and, and that group has grown from being about 30 to being several hundred in my neighborhood. So there's safety in numbers. And it's important that we let everybody know how we feel about this election. It's also important that we understand that one of the ways we have begun to win Virginia is by being reasonable and by delivering good government. And I'm actually really proud to be married to a person who I think has been delivering good government here in Fairfax County. And we, on our ticket, we have not only Jerry Connolly running for Congress, who you know, by the way, everything I say about Barack goes to Jerry. <laughs> um, but we've got Mark Warner on the ticket, and we've got Barack Obama on the ticket. Those three together, the address, for the leaders, work for them, vote for them. Thank you for everything you do. Remember, let's get out there. Let's not assume that we're going to win this election. None of us can assume we win this election. We need, as Jerry likes to say, three things. The three Bs. Volunteer. Vote and bite a check. Thank you all. <laughs>